Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, so, welcome back. All right. Look, I'm trying to do these weekly videos, even though I said I'm gonna do monthly. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to attempt to do weekly. Uh, however, look, I forgot to record some things. All right. Like, I'm not real good at this YouTube thing, but. I do got some information for y'all from last week. Just got my pay stub emailed to me today. That's Thursday, February 16th. I'm supposed to be home today. Uh, and we'll touch on that here in a little bit. Um, but uh, last week, which would have been what? February 6th? Anyway, whatever last Monday was. Um, so that, mo that Monday to i'm sorry that tuesday to this monday for this week so uh last week we picked up in fontana uh california we picked up some coils um had five coils um you know not a whole lot of weight um but took those up to um salt lake city utah uh had a beautiful drive um pretty easy load it was tarped uh that was 708 miles total and then from there, we actually deadheaded 417 miles up I-15, the Butte, Montana. Uh, absolutely just gorgeous drive. Um, some really beautiful sunrises, uh, sunsets. It was it was really nice. Um, and uh, when we picked up in Butte, Montana, we picked up um, essentially, you know, those green like transformer or electric boxes that sit out in front of houses. Uh, that's what we picked up um picked up about 18 of those and then uh, we took those over to solomon kansas and so uh, that load was 1566 miles so last week uh, we did a total of 2274 miles all right so uh my gross for like hey hey do you want to get in the video come on come on uh so ellie may wanted to get in the video i love you all right hey let me finish let me finish all right uh so last week we grossed one thousand three hundred and fifty nine dollars um and out of that fifty five dollars of that was detention pay whenever i got to my stop in kansas there in solomon um it was just you know a slow process let's just say that but man let me tell you that so that was this monday right um so again that was the information for last week you know two runs um nothing really nothing exciting really um i got you know i'll try to drop some videos in here um the sunrises or ellie playing or whatever it may be um but uh so that was last week again um 1359 dollars gross and again, everybody has their own you know expenses and you know whatever it may be but let's talk about this week all right uh so i ended up cutting that half of the video i am going to touch on this week i'm currently still dealing with it which is why I cut it. Um, but I just wanted to quick, take a real quick second. It's Saturday, uh, February 18th. I'm here at the mothership uh, here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And you're like, Kep, what's going on? Like, you're supposed to be home, aren't you? Yeah, I am. So uh, let's jump into that. So Monday, I dropped off in Solomon, Kansas. I was 641 miles, literally 641 miles from uh, where I dropped off to the pilot I stopped at for home time, right? Um, but uh, my, hey, enough, enough, no ma'am, no. Um, anyway, um, so, but I dropped off, my appointment was at four o'clock. And so um, the pre-plan I had for the next day, um, I was already gonna be late for it just based off of my appointment time to drop off and my appointment time to pick up the next day. And so, stop, honey. Ellie's grouchy today where she doesn't like seeing people like she's okay going up to you but like sitting in the truck she's a guard dog Brr, mean um but uh anywho uh so I was already going to be late for that pickup on Tuesday morning um I ended up getting delayed Monday at the cons um I didn't get into the, I didn't get into the loading bay until a little after six and I didn't park up for the night until eight and so you know with hours of service 10 hour break um I mean uh, you know, eight plus tens, what, 6 a.m.? 6 a.m., I could have started rolling. Um, and I think I actually slept into about 6.30. I was I was tired, you know, I was like, I, I set my alarm uh, for five o'clock to get, I usually try to get up about an hour before I start driving to make sure I'm awake. Um, 
and my alarm went off at five and I was like, I'm, I'm tired. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep for another hour and just leave an hour later. At, Cause in my mind, I'm like, I'm already late. Right. Um, and so, um, I sent my ETA update. Hey, I could be there by five. Right. And, you know, it's a nine hour deadhead to the, to the place I was going to. And so, uh, they ended up pulling that load off of me. They canceled that. Um, and so uh, at that point I had already driven about two hours. So this is Tuesday morning. Uh, they sent me another pre-plan to go pick up in a Nebraska. And there were usually Melton's pretty good about the differences in uh, dispatch miles versus, you know, actual miles, which you're gonna actually drive. Um, they're pretty good. This load, however, they were pretty far off. And I think what happened is they actually the empty miles was from where I dropped off, not my actual location. I think that's where there was messed up or that's where it messed up. So they set my pickup for Tuesday at 4 p.m. And had I been in Solomon, I would have been there on time, um, but I had already gotten down the road. I was almost to Kansas City. So with that being said, um, I didn't get there on time. Um, my ETA was like 4.45, right? And I'm, I'm already late. Uh, they stopped on the, they stopped loading at five o'clock. Right. And so, um, called my DM and she's like, Oh, all right. So anyway, uh, sorry, uh, orientation class. I actually just met some of y'all over there, um, by the pond. Um, and y'all are now walking in front of my trucks and some of y'all waved. Um, so if you're watching this, that's, you know, I was waving at you. Um, anywho, so they uh they quit loading at five o'clock and so i wasn't going to get there uh it started it started downpouring right and so i wasn't going to be able to get there in time and so um they sorry people are still walking by and so all right anywho no more distractions right um so they pushed my pickup to wednesday morning right all right, sorry, no more distractions, right? There's a, a whole orientation class that just walked by. I met some of y'all over there. And uh, it was, side note, it was really cool to see and hear that some of y'all chose Melton because of my videos. Um, again, I, I try to keep things real and raw. Um, I, I try to keep the fluff out. I'm more of a information-based video, not very entertaining. I sit here and talk just like this at the camera most of the time. Anywho. So, uh, where was I? Tuesday. Um, so anyway, you know, I was like, Hey, I can get there at 445 ish. They, my DMs like, Hey, they quit loading it. They quit loading, um, at five. I'm like, okay, you know, it's, it's going to be close, but we'll see. Well, it started downpouring raining and I'm empty. And so I had to reduce my speed, which kind of delayed me even further, you know? So I call my DMs like, Hey, Jordan, um, shout out to Jordan. If you happen to watch these, you're awesome. You need, you, you deserve a pay raise for dealing with me. All right. I'm an asshole. Uh, anywho, uh, so I get there, you know, Wednesday morning, um, I, you know, get up 5 a.m., about two hours away, uh, get up at five to do my pre-trip and my entire passenger side of my trailer lights, they're not blinking and they turn on, they're, they're illuminating, but they're not blinking. And so, um, you know, try to check in at the shop. They don't open till seven. So I'm like, all right. Uh, check in at seven, right? Uh, I called Jordan. And, hey, here's what's going on. I'll let you know. Uh, check in at seven. They're like, hey, we can get you at nine. All right. Um, like nine thirty rolls around. They finally come get me. Uh, I leave. I leave that pilot at like noon, a little before noon, and uh, I get to the shipper up in like north central Nebraska, uh, Atkinson, Nebraska, and um, it takes me about two hours to to strap this like super easy load just due to the wind. Um, if it hadn't been windy, I'd have been, I would have been gone about an hour. Um, but every time I threw a strap, it would fly off the Narnia. So I had to go chase it. Anyway, um, I picked up there. I had a two and a half hour drive to my, to my cons. I was, um, you know, real short load, but, um, you know, all right, whatever. Um, well, I hit about 30 miles, maybe about 20 miles of just ice covered roads um and if if y'all know if y'all know any of my videos i'm not a big fan of uh winter weather um i'm starting to get used to it now that i'm actually you know getting into it uh i still i don't like driving on it and so um you know there was a point there about 30 minutes i was going 15 miles an hour i was behind a plow i was like, i'm not gonna go up and around the plow it doesn't make sense right 
So anyway, um, you know, I'm about 30 minutes outside my, my receiver. Um, and, uh, yeah, I call extended coverage cause my DM had, you know, was already gone for the day. I'm like, Hey, is this place open? Um, and they're like, no, they're closed. Uh huh. All right. Um, you know, it, so I park up, you know, really cool little spot off of a uh, US 20, uh, just, just west of Sioux city. Um, and then, yeah, I get up Thursday morning, uh, the day I'm so supposed to be home, right? Uh, I get up Thursday morning. Yeah, I, I get to the, um, I get to the con there in Sioux city right at 7 AM. Well, they don't open till 7:30. I'm like, and at this point I'm, I'm kind of laughing, right? Kind of comical, uh, at this point, I mean, all I can do is laugh. Right. And so just, you know, little delays, little delays, little delays. Anywho, um, they get me unloaded and I'm actually picking up at that place I dropped off. Um, and that load I'm picking up is my load home and it's only 700 miles. I'm like, sweet, I'll get home Friday. You know, it's not the day I wanted to get home, but I really can't fault Melton for this. Um, I could have had a better pre-plan on Monday, but with the freight market being in shambles, you know, you kind of get what you get. Right. Um, so I'm not really, I'm not real upset about that. Um, However, I, you know, I pick up a uh, super easy load, super easy load here at the shipper uh, Thursday morning. Um, I mean, I get it secure. I have 14 straps, um, you know, everything's good to go. I mean, I'm, by the time I uh, got called to drop my trailer or got called to unload to the time I was ready to hit the road with my new load, um, it was like an hour and a half. Like I was boom, boom, easy load. So I'm like, all right, cool. I do my pre-trip, you know, on the on the new trailer, make sure the lights work, registration, tires, are, you know, everything's good to go. Um, you know, hit my brake or disengage my brakes, put it in drive. Mm -hmm. Felt like I was doing a tug test. I'm like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. So I, you know, get out. I'm looking. I'm looking. My brakes are frozen. My trailer brakes are frozen to the trailer, and I'm like, oh. all right. So you go bang, bang, bang. Hit them a little bit. You know, a few of the back axle, both of them pop, you know, they're good to go. Um, you know, I rock it a little bit, rock it a little bit. Finally, the, the, the third one pops. And then we get to the fourth one, the right side front, pat, you know, front tandem. Look, I feel like I'm a relatively strong guy. All right. I beat the ever living shit out of these drum brakes for two and a half, two and a half hours. I hit it with a hammer. I hit it with my load bar. I found a big rock. I found a little like thing, of, like a two by four that you know, kind of kind of looked like a hammer. Anything I could grab to beat on these brakes, I beat on them. I disengaged, I pulled them, I rocked the trailer, I drugged the, the tires and ended up actually creating a bald spot. Um, and fortunately the tire held together enough to get me to Tulsa. Uh, probably should have just stopped and got it taken care of on the road um but we got it done at Tulsa we saved some money hey you know uh anywho sorry ops if you're watching this all right um so anyway I you know I call our repair team I'm like hey you know I feel like I feel like an idiot but I'm like hey I, I can't get this break undone like I've two and a half hours I'm beating on it right the repair they have yeah, they so they call uh, roadside maintenance right he comes up and by this time the sun had been out for about 20 minutes all right and he goes bing literally just with a little like um a two-sided hammer one with the flat and one with the ball right he just bing, and he goes Doo. i cannot put in words how irritated i was that i spent two and a half hours laying on this dusty cold frozen ground beating that ever living dog shit out of this brake drum and nothing happened and this dude just shows up taps on it and i'm good to go ellie may have so look <clears throat> no all right so anyway so we're finally on the road, right? And I checked the weather. So I'm on I-29 out of Sioux City, uh, Iowa. The Iowa 511 has covered roads 
no toe advised not or i'm sorry no toe recommend or recommended again not saying not mandatory no toe but not recommended okay missouri snow covered roads all right driving on snow is not that bad uh so i looked at the you know the traffic you know red yellow green uh and it was all red i'm like all right and then i check um the kansas and they're like ice and snow covered roads all right uh so at this point i'm like and after driving on that uh that third 20 30 miles of ice covered roads that i had the picture of earlier i'm like you know what at this point it's just a sign like i called jordan that's my dm called jordan like hey like i'm gonna push as far you know as, as far south as i can get until i feel unsafe i'm gonna sh shut it down um you know and see what we, see what we can do right um this is thursday right this is just uh two days ago saturday today um right i only got like 60 miles down the road so all right uh the place i'm dropping off at uh, monday closed at four o'clock friday so uh friday i get up and i check the weather and the roads are good um it's i woke up at like negative eight degrees it was cold but the roads themselves are okay um but at that point i just chalked it up i was like you know what i'm not getting to the cons today like i can't they don't deliver saturday um so i was like you know what it's like 20 miles out of route to go to Tulsa. So we came through here. We're here at the mothership. Um, and so that's that's kind of my story as, as to why I didn't get home this week. Um, you know, could I have had a better pre-plan on Monday being 600 miles away from home? Absolutely. Um, I mean, they were going to deadhead me 540 miles to go pick up, right? And so I'm like, y'all couldn't have, you know, 540 miles south or, you know, again, I don't know the freight. I, you know, I, I don't see the loads i don't know where's what you know i don't i don't see all this so i can't fault melton too bad for that and i 100 percent can't fault them for mechanical issues and weather issues right that that's just it happens so with all that being said uh that's the past two weeks uh in a nutshell um again those that i saw out here in the orientation class um thanks for coming up and talking you know it, it was real brief but uh it's cool to know that these videos actually do play an impact on people who you know, choosing their trucking company. So uh, y'all recommended uh, putting my driver code in there. Uh, so if y'all do watch these videos and you're like, hey, you know what, I'm gonna give Milton a shot. Uh, I'm gonna put my driver code here. Uh, just call your recruiter and be like, hey, this dude on YouTube said I should come drive for Milton. Here's his driver code. And then I get a couple of dollars in my, in, my, in my pocket, right? So, hey, uh, uh, but the money that has nothing to do with it. I'm always going to keep it real and raw with y'all. Uh, I'm not going to blow smoke. Um, so that, 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 that part's going to be in, in, in. So that part is not going to play a factor in the, in the, my, you know, reviews or videos or, uh, cause it's really not that much money. Um, however, um, if you do have any questions, comments, concerns, um, I'm working on a truck tour video right now. Um, I have a few things I'm waiting to get at the house for this home time, and then I'm gonna do a, a truck tour, right? So uh, there's really not, I haven't looked in a while, but whenever I was looking at companies, there really wasn't videos about Melton trucks. The, tr the video that Melton provided was like 30 seconds. Like, oh, here, here, look at all this, you know? Um, so I'm gonna go and kind of show you how I organize my boxes. Uh, how I have the inside, you know, the home portion, uh, how I have Ellie's bed and stuff like that. So I'm also working on a video of uh, trucking with a dog, you know, it not, it's not going to be for everybody, but if you're interested in it, kind of give you an idea of um, how awesome it is to have, you know, a companion with you. And, and sometimes it's not so great. Like I really need to go get a haircut. Right. Um, and I can't just leave her in the truck. I mean, I could, but I just, I don't feel comfortable, but just stuff like that. So uh, y'all at the orientation class said I need to do more videos. I'm going to work on that. I promise. Uh, I'm going to take a week off starting Monday. And so I'm probably not going to do any videos. Um, but then once I get back on the road, we'll, uh, we'll get these videos started. So again, my driver code will be right here. Uh, if you decide to come to Melton, uh, you know, tell, tell your recruiter, Hey, this dude, here's the driver code, uh, referred me to Melton. So, uh, please ask your comments below. Uh, other than that, I hope y'all have a really good rest of your day, uh, night, morning, whatever time you're watching this, and then uh, we'll catch you on the next one.